Okay, so where we're at now, if we, we have our thumb loader, but if we produce the movie here, hit control enter, and take a look at our flash movie, you see that we still don't have the thumbs loaded. So to do that, what we need to do is, to do that, what we're going to do is, we're going to say, after this loop, and this loop goes from here to here, right? The for loop starts here, really, and ends here, right? The function load thumbs starts here, really, and ends here, really. So what we're going to do is, in between these two braces, I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to say thumb holder, which is the movie clip on the stage, capital H here, thumb holder dot add child, whoops, and it has to be one H, add child, and then we will add our thumb loader, which is our loader object, add thumb loader. And actually, if I do that, and I put it outside of this for loop, it's only going to load one of the ch children, only one of the thumb loaders, into the thumb holder movie clip. So what I need to do is I need to cut that, and actually I do need to put it right after this so that it's in the loop. So within the loop, thumb holder, add child, thumb loader, okay that looks good, semicolon, right? All right, hit Control Enter, and if we go to Gallery, we should see it now. All right, and there they are. Right now, they're there, but we can't click on them. Also, you can see right there, there's one row. If we wanted to do two rows, I'll show you how you would code that up. If you wanted to do two rows after this plus equals 80 what you could do is you could say, and this will give us a chance to do an if statement, if thumb y is let's say greater than or equal to we'll say 200 just to test it out. Alright, if thumb y is greater than or equal to 200 and then open and close curly brace, you could say thumb y equals 15 and thumb x plus equal we'll say 100 okay and that would create a new row so if the thumbs every time the thumbs get placed on the stage their y property gets incremented by 80 if it goes over 200 um, it will change the y back to 15 and increment the x so creating a new column so let's see what that does now okay so gallery and now you can see there's two columns because of that little bit of code right there now what we would need is we would change need to change this 100 to let's say 120 to add some space in between the images and I kind of like the one row. So I'm going to say only do two rows if we get to greater than 450. Right? So now I'll get a second row only if there's more than five images. So, um, so now if I was to add another image, it would start a second row. Okay? You might also be wondering, do we need to have this background color here anymore. We don't. So what we'll do is we'll double click on the movie clip. Now I'm in movie clip editing mode and I'm going to select this color here and click on the color chip here and it's off stage right now so I don't like that so I'll click on it here. There's the alpha and I'll zero out that alpha back to zero. So now it's invisible. It's there but it's invisible so if we go back to scene one you won't see it It'll look like there's nothing there, but it's actually there. You can click on it. So now we've got our gallery and our images. Now if we want to, we can even move this around. Let's say slide that over, bring it up. We could bring down this to start 
changing how they line up a little bit, right? Okay, that looks good. So now back to the code window. And what I'm going to do is is add another piece of code. Now, we loaded the thumbs to the stage, but we can't click on them. They're not buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say thumb loader thumb loader not thumb holder thumb loader and this is in the for loop remember this whole thing this is the for loop right here so thumb loader so this will happen to each thumb loader as they're created as an image is added to them add event listener right and we're going to use a mouse event dot click notice all capitals capital M capital E dot click is all capitals right and then a comma right so add an event listener mouse event click right and when when the click happens we're going to call a function called thumb clicked okay thumb clicked it just wrapped around to the other line there let's see if we can all right stretch this out a little bit thumb clicked capital C here now it's gonna call this function thumb clicked which we haven't written yet so we'll have to write it so I have to close this off and add a semicolon to end this line once again this is because we're just running out of space right so there it is if I stretch that out that's one line right there okay so now if we hit control enter It's broken. Why? Access of undefined property thumb clicked. Well, we haven't written that function yet. So we're going to need to write that function. So I didn't end up writing any code on this line right here. So I'll backspace that out. And I'll write function. Notice I'm outside of this function that we've been working on, load thumbs, right? Below it in a new function. Function thumb clicked with a capital C but not a capital L it's going to be an event um, mouse event alright okay and open and closed parentheses trace high function thumb clicked event mouse event trace high we'll give that a shot click OK gallery and then these movie clips are not active yet but there's the output five times high 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 okay thumb loader add event mouse event dot click thumb clicked let's try one more time and gallery you can see there's no output yet but when I click on it high click on it high so you can see that these are actually working now as buttons the cursor's just not changing to a um, the cursor's not changing to a hand but they're functioning like buttons perfect alright so that's where we ended